Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy, YouTube class number 297, counting down to 300. And what a class we have for you today. First off, everybody's going to be able to do this. Everybody is going to be able to do what I have to show you. It is magic. It's amazing. Next, it's all about hero arts. <laughs> We have their, their new reactive inks here. And Kimberly from Hero Arts came down and she had a meeting with me and she brought the reactive inks and I started to play with them. And, 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 then, and then I got out this Yasutomo mineral paper that I've had here probably forever, but didn't know anything about it. Didn't really understand how to use it, but then I mixed it with the reactive inks and oh my gosh, I, I was like, Oh, this is good. This is amazing. This is magic. It was like abracadabra poof. So we've got the Yasutomo for you. We've got new product from Hero Arts. I've got Hero Arts stencils for you. We're going to do a little bit of stamping, but not really stamping. Wait till you see how this magic is made. And best of all, when Kimberly was here, she's like, well, what can we do for your customers? We so appreciate SMS peeps. And she said, what if we gave a free gift with every purchase of Hero Arts? If you, on your online order, if you have any product that's by Hero Arts, she said, well, we'll throw in a lovely free gift. And I'm like, really? Do you know how many orders that could be? Do you know how many free gifts we could be talking about? She's like, sure. And I said, well, we can't then not have the in-store people either. She said, not a problem. <laughs> God bless her. <laughs> She said, we'll take care of those people too. <laughs> so we have a free gift. I have no idea what it is. She's sending them. It could be a stamp. It could be a die. It could be an ink. I have no clue. It could be all a random of who knows what, but you're going to get something wonderfully free from Hero Arts during this YouTube yummy sale if you purchase any of their product. Woot woot. Woot woot. That is a winner winner chicken dinner for all of you. <laughs> Now, we are counting down to 300. We only th have a few more YouTubes until we get there. Yes, I think I know what I'm doing for YouTube number 300. It's in production right now. I think it will be here in time. And if it is, <laughs> I'm very happy, but we'll have to wait and see. And what else do we have for you today? Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to tell you, I went to the Survivor finale. Really, I don't know if any of you watch Survivor. I am Stacy. I am a huge Survivor fan. I am a huge, amazing race fan. Hello, <laughs> that's me. Hello, I admit it. I own it. I live in it. I acknowledge it, and I am perfectly okay with it. We have a customer who has uh, a daughter who works on Survivor, and they emailed me and they said, "Would you like to go to the finale?" And I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> so the finale is taped here in Burbank, which is about 30 minutes from here. And I got to see who won the million dollars. I was there in the studio while it was live to New York. And then it played back here in Los Angeles. It was live. You can hear me clapping. You can hear me going, woohoo. And, and you can even see the back of my SMS sweatshirt every now and then. <laughs> but it was very exciting. And I want to give a big, big thank you to you because you know who you are and you made a dream come true. I really had the most amazing time and I was on the floor. I had seats that were incredible. I was on the floor next to Julie's family. So if you know who Julie is, she was one of the three that could have won the million dollars and I was sitting right next to her family and she didn't win, but they took it in really good stride. <laughs> but it was a great few hours of my life. Amazing. Okay, so I wanted to give a big thank you to, to that customer and her daughter who got me in. And I want to give a big thank you to Hero Arts because we have a lot of this product before a lot of other companies, as well as the amazing free gift. And it's all technique today. All technique. We're going to start super simple. And we're pretty much going to stay super simple because, like I said before, everything I do, you can do. You can do this. None of it is difficult. None of it is Oh, hmm. You might say, oh, I don't, I don't have any of, the... you're going to be able to do this. If you've got baby wipes, if you've got some of the reactive inks, the Hero Hughes reactive inks from, from Hero Arts, if you've got the really inexpensive Yasutomo paper and your own stencils, your own stamps, 
baby wipes, you're gonna be able to do all of this. So I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. I have two of you from the last YouTube, which was 296, and that was the Couture Creations cut and emboss and stamp and foil dies. They did just about everything except for pack my lunch. <laughs> I mean, they pack a lot of bang in one product. If you can stamp and foil and die cut and emboss all out of one one foil uh, or one die, amazing. Like I said, they do just about everything except for pack my lunch. So, um, so I have winner, winner, chicken dinner. There's two of you because we always do two. And our first winner is Anthony. Anthony Shea. Hello, Anthony Shea. Is this you? Because if it is, you should be doing the winner dance, winner, winner, chicken dinner dance with me right about now. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Congratulations, Anthony. I'm so happy for you. But we have one more. We have another winner, winner. And this one is, oh. D. Ameris J. Cobain. Oh, okay. I'm just going to hold it up. Is that you? If that's you, wahoo could you? Is that you? Congratulations, because if that is, you also are. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. <laughs> I kind of feel like everybody's a winner today because with the Hero Arts free gift for all of you that, that buy any of their product, it's like you all are winner winners, which makes me a winner winner chicken dinner because I get the joy of reading your emails and your phone calls when you get your packages and you're like, oh, <laughs> that's just awesomeness. It's just makes my heart so happy. It's the best thing ever when we get cards in the or emails or phone calls that that you've got your you've got your package, you've got your free gift. Everything was awesome. So please know we do read those. We do look at them. We even um, on the emails and the cards, we take them <laughs> tape them to the to the bathroom door, the outside of the bathroom door for SMS. That way everybody, it's right by the bathroom door and the time clock are pretty close to each other. And we post them right there so that the everybody can read what you've written. And that way they know that they're also, you know, that the staff, they, they see, they appreciate that. They really, really do. The SMS peeps who work here, when there's something posted to the bathroom door, they know oh, somebody's happy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So again today hero arts super simple not hard at all but we're going to start at the very beginning and work our way through so that you can see what these reactive inks do what they're supposed to do and then we're going to show you how we kind of stacified them <laughs> Hero Arts didn't even know. Kimberly was here. Okay, so quickly. Kimberly was here. She didn't, until we pulled out the Yasutomo paper and started working with it, she had no clue that these could do this. And she started pulling out her phone as I'm playing, because we were in here playing. And she's like, I think I'll just do a quick video. And I'm like, no, no, you won't. <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> So, all right, I'm going to tilt on down for today. We're going to get started. And um, apparently, well, it's a good day for a good day. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to tilt on down. Bye, guys. Don't forget to post your comment at the end of this YouTube so that you have an opportunity to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And remember that your comments have to be approved, and then you'll see them and everybody has a chance and you can tell us anything you want about your day. You can tell us why it was a good day to have a good day. <laughs> you can tell us anything you want in those comments as long as you keep them kind. Kind is an, a, it's an important word. It's a very important word. So anyway, this is our, this is our free make and take going on downstairs right now. And we use the Hero, uh, Hero Hues Reactive Inks and here's another one. Look at how pretty is this? The colors are just lovely. We use the Hero Hues paper. We now have their eight and a half by 11 paper in all the colors. And what Kimberly really said is 
um, and, and, and it was really important to her that I understand this, is that they did their best to make the inks work really, really well with their paper. The colors really work well together. Um, I don't know, I have the sampler pack here. I wasn't supposed to open it yet, but they really wanted um, the 15, there's 15 Hero Hughes inks, and they really wanted them to work well with their papers so that the colors would just would just look beautiful together. That was important to them. And so we brought in the eight and a half by 11, and I think it's 10 sheets per per pack. I think it's 10, is it 10 sheets per pack? Yeah, 10 sheets per pack. And the weights vary from 100 pound to 110 pound. And we'll get to that later. Hadn't planned on doing that. But, um, but I know that she really felt that it was an important thing to mention that they really strive to keep their colors workable with their inks so that it all will blend and look beautiful together and when you mat them everything matches up lovely all right i'm going to put this off to the side because i really wasn't supposed to do that but that's okay let me put that over there all right so here's one of our in-store make and takes and then we're going to put out a bunch of different colors so that people can do a bunch of different things. And you may be looking at this going, hmm, this really isn't my forte. It's not what I do. It's a little grungy. Wait, trust me, you have to, you have to stay with me because when you see how these inks evolve and what you can do with them, I'm almost positive there is something here for everybody that a tip or a trick or a way to use them that you can then implement in your crafting. And since you probably already have stamps and you probably already have stencils, well, this is another way to utilize them. And I guarantee you it is magic. Truly, it is like abracadabra. So we're gonna start out very, very simple. So this is like the basic card trick. And at the very end, it's gonna be like I'm saw sawing the lady in half. It'll be the bam, <laughs> the grand finale. <laughs> okay, let me pull some of these over. These are the Hero Hughes reactive inks. What does a reactive ink mean? Well, easy peasy. It means that it's a dye-based ink that reacts with water. They have 15 different colors. It is a raised, uh, a raised pad, so it's easy to stamp, easy to ink up. They are vibrant and they are uh, very, uh, what's the word I want to use? Intense. So you get the opportunity with these inks to make them as bold and as intense as you want or as soft and as subtle as you want. They give you that opportunity. They are meant to blend. These are blending inks that have a property built into them that then makes water, when you put water with them, just amazing. So, like I said, 15 colors. I'm gonna play with a few of them and I'm gonna start with just basic paper because those of you who have never seen reactive inks before and you're like well how could I have seen them these are new Stacy I haven't seen them how could I well Tim Holtz has reactive inks his oxide inks would be considered a reactive ink so if you already own oxide inks and you want to add some of the hero hues colors to it because their colors are substantially different then you're gonna be just fine you should be able to blend your oxides with your Hero Hughes reactives. So let's just grab a piece of white paper and I'm just using, uh, I wanna use 100 pound, well I don't, 80 pounds good, it doesn't really matter, it's just ink, we're not die cutting. And I wanna play with some of my colors. So I'm gonna grab my yellow, cause you all know me. And again, raised pad, and they're very juicy there's a lot of ink in these i mean truly there are and are there going to be uh reinkers for them yes 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 there are there's going to be reinkers now i'm just using an inexpensive makeup sponge that i got from walmart but you can get them from the dollar store maybe these came from the dollar store anyway we just, or maybe these came from rite aid or whatever but i'm just using an inexpensive makeup sponge tim holtz does have a tool to do this it's a blending tool you can absolutely use that it's not a it's really up to you for me i would rather spend my money on more inks than if i can do something similar with a with a very nice little sponge and i'm just gonna put my inks here 
Now you can see right away that the color is super bold. And I tend to be a girl, so then I can come over and I can grab my next one. And I can put that in there and start blending. But I tend to be a girl who likes to just go for it. So you can go in there and you can start moving them around. When I do this, I tend to just go zhu 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 and zhu 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 and maybe a little bit over here. And you're like, oh, what have you done? Then I just like to go in and start to move. And I'll bring that yellow in. And I will start blending them into each other. So I'm a hit or miss kind of girl, that's me. And you can see how vibrant the inks are when I'm putting it down. I mean, it's very, very, um, very juicy. And the more you put down and the more you layer, the more the colors blend. So I just like to get things started. <laughs> And then that's why I kind of go zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. And then I will come back and figure out, okay, I need a little more yellow here. I need a little more pink there. Until I am 100% happy with what I have. But for me, this is a faster way because I'm a, I'm a let's get it done type of girl. Truly up to you how you get them down. But do you need the Tim Holtz blender? Sure, if you want it, absolutely. Can you do it a little more economically so you can spend maybe a little bit more on inks if you don't have the inks? I think so. Okay. So I've kind of made a background. Could have added other colors. I don't know if we'll, see. well, maybe the orange you won't even see. I wonder if I can add maybe a lighter pink. Up to you. They're all meant to go together. Nope, that lighter pink's just gonna blend right on in. Okay. Now, how does a reactive ink work? Well, now that I've got it, a background made, I can take water, just basic water. And I can kind of drop it on. And the ink, the ink is going to start to react. Can you see it? It's going to start to react. Wherever that water drops, that ink is pulling up and almost erasing. It is a very cool effect. And this is how quite a few people will use a reactive ink. They will, um, they will drop on it or they'll take a paintbrush and splatter with it. But there's many ways to use a reactive ink. First off, do you have to use a reactive ink with water? Can you just stamp with it? Well, sure you can. This is an all-purpose ink. I don't want you to think that, okay, I, I'm maybe I'm not so hmm you know grungy or or, or that's not the look that I want to go for but when you see what else these will do you're gonna love it so you want to know well can I use these just to stamp sure you can I should have started with a little bit of yellow oh see now I stamped on my stamp pad oh no what do I do Ta-da! Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. So I should have, when I was getting this ready to stamp, I should have started with my lightest color first because that's how you build color. And I wanna add a little something to it. See, it's still reacting. I'm letting it sit over here on the side because it's still reacting. So I'll add a little bit of yellow 
and then I might just come back and hit it with a little bit of my darker. Now the yellow is going to absorb into that color, so it is okay. You don't have to worry about necessarily cross-contaminating. Take my plain piece of paper, put it down, give a nice massage. You can see that I'm stamping with the with the rubber side up. That's because this is a big six by six stamp. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any holes in it. And what I mean by holes is when, if you're stamping this way and you're pushing into it, sometimes you don't get nice even pressure everywhere so you can get a hole, an empty space. And I wanna to try to avoid that. So I'm stamping with the stamp face up and my paper face down. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Oh, there we go, super pretty. Easy peasy. So, reactive inks have a blendability feature to them. They have a stamping feature to them. You have the best of both worlds. And, hmm, and then you have that, that little extra reactive to it that just adds a little bit something. Now, this is just on plain white paper. And I wanna show you one more time on just plain white paper how the ink kind of um, moves, how it spreads, because then I'm gonna pull out the Yasutomo paper, and it is a completely different how it reacts to the paper. So I'm gonna grab my purple. Okay, so you can see, when it goes down on your paper, it kind of sits where it is. You can kind of blend it out a little bit and let's try a little bit of blue here. So they're very pretty, but you can see that once it's down, it doesn't really move. It's absorbed into the paper already. And that's what ink is supposed to do, absorb into the paper, because that's its drying time, that's how it dries. And being that this is a dye-based ink, I'm just gonna take this blue and go right over. It absorbs into the paper, most papers, pretty quickly. And a little more purple up in here, and I just wanna blend them together. But you can see I'm not able to pull it out. Not able to pull it out. Now I could finish this because when it would be all finished it would be lovely but we have to move on. I hate moving on. <laughs> That's why the YouTubes are an hour and a half long because I want to finish what I start. I'm that girl. Okay but I can't so I'm going to come back to this and finish this later on. This is on plain paper. Now I want to play with Yasutomo paper, and it is mineral paper. Don't fully understand what mineral paper is or how it's made. It is a fine art product. It says multimedia on, media on it. It's made, well, it's made from rocks, not trees. Okay, well, that would explain the mineral. It's, um, it's made for water-based products. It's got this smooth finish. They call it a vellum finish. It's not vellum, but it's got this unbelievably smooth, smooth finish when you feel it. It feels like it's a coated paper, but it's not a coated paper because it's made from rocks. It's made from minerals. It's not a glossy paper. It's got a matte to it, but I wanna show you how different these inks work on it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my green. And remember when I said I couldn't pull, I couldn't pull the ink out once it's down, it's really down? That is not the case with this paper. Do you see how far I'm able to draw the ink out and spread it? It just keeps spreading and I can add more and make it more vibrant. 
but it does have a feeling of almost being like a gloss paper, but it's not a gloss paper. Add some purple, oh my gosh. Okay, can you see the blendability? Can you see how it's just blending to each other? This paper, and then it makes its own colors. This paper is amazing. Will the ink dry on it? Yes, the ink will dry on it. And I can just keep adding and adding and pulling it out. So you're actually using less ink because it's sitting on top and allowing me to pull. And you can mix your colors. Could I do zhuzh and zhuzh? Look at how intense they are on the paper. And then, oh, I am going to wipe that up because that's going to get all over me. I can already tell you. Then I grab my little makeup sponge and start blending them together. Do you see how they just are blending in? And moving them and softening them if I want to. And to soften them, you just keep, oh, my hands are dirty. You just keep blending it out to where the color is soft and subtle and the sh Look at, look at how beautiful that is and how smooth that looks. It doesn't, it looks like a printed paper. It doesn't look like you inked it at all. So pretty. I don't know, some people, somebody who saw it said, oh, it's like a, it's like a, a Yupo. And I suppose it could kind of be like a Yupo, only for, oh, I don't know, a fraction of the price. And Yupo is a paper that is very popular right now with alcohol ink. I just love how these just blend and move until you're happy with them. And it's this paper that allows you to do that. Now I could keep blending, I could blend forever, but I need to show you what happens when you add water on the mineral paper. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did here. Remember, I just dropped some, some water right on this, and this is just on basic paper, and I just threw some water right on it. Okay, so let's take a little bit of water, and you could use a paintbrush and flick it, or just put a little bit down, kind of all over. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and you can already see it reacting. It's pretty instantaneous. You can see it reacting, but I'm going to take a paper towel and just wipe. Are you ready? It literally took them off. It took it all off. It took the ink. Oh, that's Ranger calling. Hello, Ranger. <laughs> Should I answer it? <laughs> hold on just a moment. Hold on, hold on. I won't show my phone this time. Hi, it's Stacy. Hey, Colleen, can I call you back? Because I'm literally right in the middle of YouTubing and you're on the YouTube. So what would you like to say about Ranger products to all of our fans? <laughs> Ranger products rock. Wait, wait, wait. Colleen says Ranger products rock. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you when I'm all done. <laughs> Toodles, bye bye. <laughs> okay, so look at there. Okay, totally different than this, right? Look at that. With the mineral paper, for some reason, 
it allows you, when the water comes on, it allows you to almost, I mean, I could, I could wipe it off. I could, I could, right? How amazing is that? I could just sit here and go zhuzh, 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 and just go back and forth. It makes the, it makes the, the ink reactive again, and it just gives you an opportunity to play. And I could, I could take a straight edge and literally wipe my edges right off. Does it hurt the paper? No, it doesn't hurt the paper at all. But you said, Stacy, that was so very pretty. I liked it. Well, okay, no problem. Dry it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It got the texture from the paper towel. Dry it off. And start again. Talk about having options. And it is with this reactive ink that allows you to do this because the ink is working with the water and the paper is working with the water. And it just lets you go in there and, and make magic happen. How often do you get to do do-overs if you want? What if I took my water and I sprinkled it down and then I took my paper towel and I blotted it up and then I don't like it so stark. I wanna go back in. All right, go back in right over. And you can keep some of the little water blotches behind it, but cover it up just a little bit if you don't want it so stark. It does amazing, ama what happens if you don't want any of it? All right. Now we're back to the beginning again. How often do you get this chance to really go in there and change things until you're so happy with them that you can't change it anymore. It's just perfect. You step back and you go, ah, and you're so happy, right? This Yasutomo paper is, is one of the keys. That and the reactive elements of the ink from Hero Arts. Remember, I can pull this. I can pull this ink out as far as I can get it to go. I can extend it, I can make it go, look at it, just pull out. So that a little ink is gonna go a very long way. My fingerprints everywhere, but that's okay. All right. Now I'm back to where we started. Drop my water. And continue on. That's one thing to do, but we've just begun. Let's see the next thing we have. Oh, I hear somebody's phone. <laughs> Okay, let's see the next thing we can do with this. So, this time I think I am going to use my stencils. My hands are really inky. Okay, let's use stencils. So I have got a Hero Arts stencil. Six by six, easy peasy to use. You probably have stencils in your, in your arsenal already. I am going to use my sticky grid 
gosh, we sold the bejeebies of these. I'll let you know that we have the next shipment will be to us soon. We're going to go ahead and put them on the YouTube yummy because by the time we are ready to ship you this, oh, this is just coming out beautiful. I, I just, I like it just the way it is. Oh my gosh. So we will have these in time to ship with your orders. So we're going to go ahead and put them back online. We don't have any physically here now, but we will have them in time to ship your orders. Or if you're an in-store peep, they should be here in the next, um, in the next week or so. Um, what's a sticky grid? It is basically a glorified post-it note that is sticky on both sides. Really important. Did you just see what I did? Really important. Sticky grids, have a side that opens easy. See how this opens? Where's my Sizzix side? Oh, there we go. So a side that opens easy and a side that does not. If you are ever going to cut these down to size, you need to remember to cut this way so that you always have a side that opens easy easy for you. Sticky grids were developed to put on your platforms for your big shot machines in case you had magnetic, if you're using your magnetic platform and you needed to keep your smaller dies in place as opposed to them going zing, zing, zing to the magnets. No, 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 no. So that's what sticky grid was intended for. We, however, are using sticky grid for when we use our stencils and it is really a glorified post-it note. Can you use this again and again and again? Yes, and as long as it's sticky, you can use it and they stay sticky for a really long time. So I would not throw away the liners because when you're done with it, then you just lay it flat, put your liners back on both sides and store it away for the next time. You get five sheets per package and see now I can I can just wait until I need to use it the next time and it's still sticky. So unlike a post-it note that only has sticky on one side, this is sticky on both, which means I can put it down. I can put it down on my non-stick craft mat and it won't won't stick to it. But then I'm able to take a stencil or something that I don't want to move and I can use it on here. So I'm gonna grab a piece of my, my Yasutomo mineral paper and I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that here. So now it's stuck to my sticky grid. I can peel it up because again, a sticky grid is just basically a post-it note so I can pull my paper up and down. But now I'm gonna take my stencil and I'm gonna put my stencil over the top of it. And as long as my stencil is touching part of the sticky grid, my stencil won't move. Look at that, no can do, no move, it's down on my sticky grid. Which means when I go into color, oh, it's so easy! <laughs> because nothing is slipping and sliding. Now I'm gonna take my Hero Hues, and I've got my yellow, and I'm just gonna put some yellow there and there and maybe I'll take my red and put some red there and there. So right now I've taken my ink and I put it straight onto my straight onto my stencil. It isn't in my space yet. It hasn't filled in yet because I'm going to take my little sponge and using the stencil as kind of a palette I'm gonna just pull that ink right off that stencil and start filling in my spaces. And because it is a blendable ink, it just goes easy peasy in. I can add more. And if you want to, if you just wanna go straight from your palette, from straight from your ink pad in, you absolutely can. Just depends upon what makes your heart happy. I like to get things going So I take and use my stencil kind of as a palette, but then I can come back in and pick up, oh, look at how colorful that is. Look at, can you see how lush and how rich the colors are? They're unbelievably vibrant if you want them to be vibrant. They don't fade on the, um, on the Yasutomo paper either. The colors stay as rich as you want them. 
Talk about easy stenciling. Have you seen? It hasn't moved anywhere. And the colors just blend. Okay, I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna try and pull the whole thing up. Nope, it's gonna move, all right. We'll move our stencil, pull our stencil off our sticky grid. And there we are. How easy was that to stencil? And then you just pull your Yasutomo paper right off. And because of the type of paper it is, that color stays that intense and that bright. It is amazing. But you're saying, okay, well, regular paper looks pretty good too when I stencil. It does, and I agree. And this is just one way of using the Yasutomo paper. How about we use it a different way? Hmm, how about we take a piece? Let me cut myself a piece of this. I'm gonna put it down, because I'm still gonna use my stencil. Well, actually, well, yeah, I can just do it on here. And I'm gonna add some yellow, and some of my red. Again, reactive drink, uh, reactive Hero Hues inks. I'm gonna take my makeup sponge, and look at that, look at how it just moves. yellow. Lots of yellow. Look at how it just moves. And remember, I can pull it. I can pull it out so I can take what's on here and make it go a really long way. And the more you pull it out, the softer the color becomes, the more subtle the color becomes. And I can just blend, blend, blend. And then I'm gonna use my stencil. But I can already hear you going, um, Stacy, <laughs> stencil, you're supposed to put the stencil on top of your paper first, and then add your color. Well, sometimes, not always. I don't know any other paper that will let you do what I'm going to do. Now, there might be something else out there, but I haven't seen it. Okay, I need to be done because I can sit here and do this all day long. So I've just colored my paper, my Yasutomo mineral paper. All I did was color it. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna take that same stencil that I just used to do wherever I put it. Well, I did this one earlier, so that'll work. I did this one earlier on the Yasutomo paper. This time I'm gonna put my stencil right over Press it down so it's on my sticky grid. And then I'm gonna take a baby wipe. Now, baby wipes. You would think that they're relatively dry, but wait. Let me show you. If I squeeze this, do you see how much water comes out? I need my baby wipe to be as dry as possible. So, when you get your baby wipe out of your, out of your and I just use the ones, these are from, I think, Sam's Club, the Dollar Tree, whatever makes your heart happy. You're going to wring it out. Look at how much liquid is in there. I need this to be dry. I need to be almost to the point of just you feeling, oh, it feels like it's drying out. That's, that's how you want it to feel. I need to get rid of, look at all that moisture that was in there. I need to get rid of the moisture so that this is basically uh, almost dry, just wring it all the way out and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna bring back 
I'm gonna push it down. Can you see how it's still sticking? No problem. And then I'm gonna take my baby wipe and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start to erase. I'm erasing the ink. I know, that's a little crazy, right? I'm actually erasing the ink. And because I inked it first, what's it good that I inked the paper first? What's it going to leave behind? It's gonna leave behind the negative. Oh, it's gonna come up. A little bit of paper towel. Pick up all the extra and it's going to leave behind a negative. So instead of this, which is what you would normally get from a stencil, I did the reverse. Oh, right? Now, the more water you use, the more it's going to bleed. So you want to use your baby wipe with very little water. But what if you don't like this? What if you're saying, oh, no, Stacy, that's just not for me. Okay, come back in because you can. Come back in and start adding your color again. Because every time you add your color, the reactive ink works with the Yasutomo paper and allows you to go back in and start to blend. What if you do it and you say, uh-uh, no way, no how, I, I tried, it's just not working for me. Okay, go back in. You can, you have options. You, you, you will never waste a piece of this Yasutomo paper because as long as you're using it with the reactive inks, oh my gosh. It just moves. Like it never even happened. Right? Magic. I told you this was magic. I told you that it was amazing what this can do. Amazing. Between the inks and the paper, I had never seen anything like it. And and gosh, maybe you have, I don't know. But for me, my mouth just dropped. And, and the only reason why I know it is because I sit here and I play with the product. I play with it a lot because it has to do what it says it's going to do. And gosh, if it does even more than that, then everybody's a winner. All right, so here I am. Now I can come back, lay it right back. Maybe I, maybe, I don't know, maybe I want it, maybe I want it turned like that. I don't know what I want. <laughs> There's too many options. <laughs> Bring back my baby wipe. Again, pretty dry because this is the one I used earlier. And literally just go back in and start to erase. And the less water you have, the sharper your image is going to be when you're done. You can even take a paper towel and just blot right over the top and then pull, blot one more time. Oh, now I blotted so much that I left the little lines from it. <laughs> but what happens, I don't like it. Okay. Start again. Pretty amazing, right? So do I have one that I did earlier? I was playing. Oh, there's one that I did earlier of the reverse. So you have the positive, which is here, and then the negative, which is there. Up to you. How do you want it done? Now your stencils... Now your stencils are twofold. Now you get double the use out of them because they do more than one thing. Now you can have the positive and the negative image. I can just go in there 
and just keep coloring. All right, should we just stick with this one? Because I can move on to the next thing, which is using stamps. So I'm just gonna keep this one going. Why not? I've got options. More yellow. I wonder what other color I should throw in here because right now I've only got the two colors. Should I throw an extra color in here? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's fine. I want to blend, blend, blend. Ooh. All right, so I've erased what I did. Completely gone. The paper, paper's fine, no problem. It's meant to take water. It is mineral paper. It is meant to hold up. It is as thin as can be, I will let you know that. It's a very thin paper, but it's a tough paper. It's hardy. It is amazing. And as long as I don't add water, this is going to dry. It will take it a few minutes, but it will dry without any problem. So pretty. All right, I am gonna move that one up to the side and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna go back to my purples and my blues. So move that there, move that there, move to my purples and my blues again and bring those back out. All right, purple. Purple, purple, purple. Purple, purple, purple. And I'm just gonna make my background. Green, green, green. In fact, I'm just gonna go in there and add. Zoop, 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 zoop. And then blend with my purple. To me, that's faster, easier, and I can get it done. And I can pull the colors out and move them around so that a little bit of ink is gonna go a really long way. And as the colors blend, they make their own third color. All right, does that work for me? I think so. And the more you blend, the smoother that finish is, the smoother it starts to look. Okay. I just said okay, right? <laughs> I'm terrible about this. Okay, so now let's play with a stamp. I've made my background. There's my color. Let's play with a stamp. Got a little bit of water on there. Okay. Let's play with a stamp. So I have a stamp from Hero Arts, one of their six by six stamps. I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna take my baby wipe. Now this time I don't have to necessarily wring my baby wipe out because I want to get my stamp wet. So I'm going to, oh, that is very wet. Maybe I will wring my baby wipe out just a little bit. I want to get my stamp wet. So I'm just rubbing over the whole thing. Then I didn't need to use my sticky grid because we're not going to be doing a, um, a stencil on it. So I could have just inked it up right onto my craft mat. Then I'm gonna take my ink. Hopefully this is wet enough. And I'm gonna turn it upside down and place it right on it. and give a good press. Now, just like I stamped earlier, I'm stamping upside down. So I don't have my paper down on my craft mat. 
I have my stamp facing upwards because it's a big stamp and I want to make sure that I give it a nice massage so I don't have any holes. And we're going to see what happens when that water from the stamp reacts with the paper and the ink. All right, let's give it a whirl. Ta-da! Take my paper towel and just give it a very gentle blot just to get some of those little, um, those little dark, just a very gentle blot. Just pull up the extra water. Oh, so cool, right? Amazing. But wait, <laughs> what's left on the stamp? Is the ink still there? Let's see what we get. We get a twofer. So I could take this and trim this right on out. You cannot do this with regular paper. Regular cardstock is too porous. It will not let you make the transfer. So I've got one image and I've got the other image. Who would have thought that you could take mineral paper ink it, add some water to whatever stamp that you have. What stamps do you have? This is almost like using a Versamark, only easier. <laughs> a Versamark will just give you a lovely watermark. It doesn't take it and erase it. But what if you don't like it? Now I still have this one over here that we didn't do. Still have this one over here. Can I take it and get my stamp wet again? My cloth feels pretty dry. Oh, now who's calling me? <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be wet enough. All we can do is try, right? Let's just lay it right on down and give a good press. So if you're in a hurry and you've got to make a quick background and you, you need everything to blend and to match, here's your background and then you take the reverse and you can put the reverse on top of that and, and everything's going to, I mean, oh my gosh, it's just a little bit of happiness. <laughs> Okay, should we see? I don't know if I have my paper wet enough. Oh, can you see that? That is absolutely amazing. It still has a little bit of a sheen. That's the paper. That's okay, that's the paper. It's not that it's wet, it's that the paper has a little bit of a sheen to it. And as the water is evaporating off, it'll dull just a little bit. Okay that that is awesome in fact the dryer it was even a little bit better this is blurred just a, this is well I think it looks pretty good but that blurred just a little bit this is even more crisp and then can we take oh, do I have another piece can we take and let's see what we get I don't know if there's anything left on there to transfer, but I don't know that there isn't. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> I told you, it is absolutely 
absolute magic. It is amazing. All the different things that you can do with the reactive inks and the Yasutomo paper that just make things beautiful. Here, this is the one I did. So there's, there's the negative. So you just have that very, very fine detail of the stamp. There's using the leftovers. We have it just playing with it and just mixing the colors and, and throwing water down. But remember, what if you don't like this? What if you look at it and you say, you say, oh, that's just, it didn't come out the way I wanted it. What do you do? Start again. Anytime you add ink over the top or water over the top, it reactivates, hence the word reactive. <laughs> and I can start all over again. It's taking inks and paper to a next level where we didn't have these options before, where we couldn't just make oopses or play and try without using up all of our product. Oh, I didn't get it wet. Stacy. Yep, I didn't get it wet. It's got to be wet. So let me just smooth some of this out. And this time, add a little bit of wetness to my stamp. Lay it down, give a good press. And pull up. Oh, is your mind like mine? It was just a million miles a minute my mind was going. A million miles a minute. What else can I do with it? What else will it work with? And then of course we still have that, wherever I took it from, we still have that, that leftover that I pulled up. The inks are beautiful and, and you can just stamp with it if you want. You don't, you, you, you want to just, you want to do this one day and the next day you want to do something like this. And then another day you want to do one of, uh, one of these <laughs> or this one. And then finally, maybe one day you just want to stamp with it on regular paper. Where else can you get so much option? It amazed me. I was blown away, completely blown away. And then again, remember, if I don't like it, what do I do? Go back in and play again. The longer it dries, the more um, the undertones will still remain with you. So I may not be able to get all those little blops out where the water dropped, but what happens what if I don't like this? What happens if I liked it the way it was? Instant erase. which then makes a whole cool background all by itself. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was amazed, floored, happy, thrilled to, to use this product because it's hard for me to find something that really 
is, I mean, to see something totally different and new that I've never seen before. I've seen products come on the market and evolve into better products. And, and, and I've seen products come on the market that I'm like, yeah, this is a no-go. We would never carry that because it just does not do what it says it's going to do. And then every now and then you get a product that you didn't even know existed. And that's the Yasutomo paper. And then you pair it up with an ink, a reactive ink that allows you to move things. Oh my gosh, I just, it, it so made my heart happy. I mean, I suppose I could put, I suppose I could put my, my stencil here. I should put my sticky grid down. I could just wipe up a little bit just a little bit. And add some texture that way. I don't know. When something gives you so many options, that's my kind of product because I know that I only have so much money to spend on crafts for the store and you only have so much money to spend on crafts at home. So when we can find something that's going to give you many options, well, that just is perfect. Okay. This was a bit of a lot, right? But it was all easy. What did we use? All we have used today is the Hero Hughes inks, that's all we've used, and the Yasutomo paper, and baby wipes. You may already have lots and lots of stencils, and you already may have lots and lots of stamps. Oh, see, then we could wipe this side and put the floral on that side. <laughs> Ultimately, it's just a whole lot of creativity and fun where you can sit and play with having no expectation of, of actually making anything until your little heart is happy. You could be making backgrounds and just learning the techniques and playing with it un until, un and then if you don't like it, you just wipe it right off. When do you ever get to just wipe it right off? So pretty. Lots to be done. So much to be done. All right. So I want to show you the product. I mean, this is just, they're just, it's just beautiful. All on the Yasutomo paper. Look at how the color holds. Look at how vibrant that is. That's a, a testament to the inks and the paper. Amazing. Okay. So I want to show you some of the product. There's 15 colors of the Hero Hues. They are pretty brand new. So these are the Hero Hues reactives. And there's 15 colors. I hope I have all 15 here. I think the girls left me all 15. So what are we at? This one's not out there yet. This one's not out there yet. And this one's not out there yet. Yay, we have all 15. Here's your 15 colors of Hero Hues. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit so you can see. There's your 15 colors of Hero Hues, reactive inks. The reactive is very, very important because that's what's going to let you move and blend and add that water to make all these different elements that we were able to do with the stamps, with the stencils, with just dropping the water on. So 15 colors, they're on sale. They're a part of the YouTube Yummy. Oh, here's this one. I just, I just am so thrilled with it all. It takes a lot to surprise me and this really surprised me. Then we have, we have the sticky grids. Not in stock yet, but Ellison Sizzix is holding hundreds of these for us when the next shipment comes in. And there are two sizes. This is the larger size and you get five sheets and that's what we were using to put down our stencil. And remember, it's reusable. It's still sticky. So you don't wanna throw 
the liners away. Even though this is inked on, it's still sticky. You want to keep those liners, and that way you can use it again and again and again. Again, a product that, that gives you more for your money. And you can just use it again and again and again. So Sticky Grid by Sizzix. Then, oh my gosh, we have stencils from Hero Arts. I've got all of their six by six stencils that'll be on sale. Tons of the Hero Arts stencils. Just in case you don't have any and you want to play and you want to try. And then we have their paper. And we've got the sampler pack, which is a um, an A2 size, and you get all the colors of the Hero Hughes paper. It's between 100 and 110 pounds, depending upon the color. Like I can tell this one's heavier than the pink. It takes more to make this dark than it is to make this light. So it's going to be heavier. Your darker colors tend to be heavier than your lighter colors because it takes more to get that intense dark color. But we also have it in all the eight and a half by 11s. So you get 10 sheets, it's $5.99. It is made for mats and die cutting and card making. If you wanna make your own card bases, this is a great paper for you. Here, that's what Hero Arts is known for, is their stamps and card making. And so the paper um, is of quality so that you're able to do that. And then of course, they've done their very best to make sure that your inks are gonna, uh, your reactive inks are going to work so well with the colors of their Hero Hues paper. They've really tried to make it a cohesive unit and just pretty, pretty paper. Okay, then, is that it? Oh, then, no, then we have the Yasutomo. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stacy. <laughs> we have the Yasutomo paper. So, okay, this pack has um, 20 sheets. It is like nine by 11, I think. It is $10.45 for the entire pack of paper, right? And then it's on a YouTube Yummy. Um, hello, this is all the paper I was using to do all the really cool elements that we did from the stamping to the blending to the stencils. This is that paper. And if you don't want the big size, not a problem. If you just want to sample it, here's the origami size. You get also 10 sheets of paper. It's the exact same paper, and it's all of $3.70, less 20%, less I think. So Yasutomo paper, amazing. Made from rocks. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I hate to admit it, but I used to eat rocks when I was a little kid, I think. <laughs> but <laughs> had I known that rocks could make such beautiful paper, holy smokes artichokes, and this finish that is silky satiny. They call it a vellum finish. It is beautiful, S just absolutely beautiful. All right, let's talk about samples because I've got some really beautiful samples here for you. And we did a little bit of everything. So here we just played with the stencils and the colors. And you can see where the pink met the green started to make its own purple, which then it got matted in. All done with the Hero Hues. Do you want to use the reactive inks as just watercolor? Absolutely. This is right on watercolor paper. Put it down, add your water to it, and move it around. Make it a palette and go in and paint. Sure you can. It's meant to do that. It is meant to work with water. Um, hello. How beautiful is that? Okay, that's the stencil I was using. Amazing, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, look at this. Can you see the leaves we stamped into with the leaves? Look at the color and the vibrancy of these. Same thing here, here's with the stencil. And just a strip to add a little pop, a little color, a little zhuzh, 
a little woohoo ka -choo. And easy, because all you had to do was color it, get um, put your stencil down, and wipe up. Amazing. Okay, this one is beautiful. This was done with the wood grain stencil. Yeah, they have a wood grain stencil. Um, oh, 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 I see it, I see it, I see it. This was done with the wood grain stencil. And a little bit of splatter and a little bit of color. I love the negative space around it. Not everything has to be colored from top to bottom. I actually like negative space. It gives your eye an opportunity to focus on the pop of color that's there. How pretty is that? Again, playing with the stencils, with stamps. All right, and then the ink, the stamps that came off of this, when we stamped it down, we then came back and did, and just put paper right on top of it and transferred that image. So remember, remember we took the stamp and we got it wet and we put it down, and then the stamp still had ink on it, so we took paper down and put it down. That's what these are. This is the opposite. This is what's left over. Right? And look at how tranquil the colors are. All done with stencils. And then here, oh, 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 okay. So here, stamp, 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 stamp. This came out of here. <laughs> How pretty is that? And cut the paper up to make three individual, individual pieces to break it up a little bit. And then look at how pretty is that? Blended with the reactive inks and then splat. So lovely. And it is a good day for a good day. It really is. All right, so, oh my, I hope you saw something or learned something that you, let me go on back, that you had never seen before. Because that's how I felt when I first saw it. When I didn't even see it, I played with it. And that's what manufacturers come and do here. They come, there's meant to be an appointment and they're meant to show me all new product. But you know what most of the manufacturers do? They sit back and they watch me play because they can literally see the wheels turning. Hero Hughes Reactive Ink, they had no idea about Yasutomo paper, no clue what it would do. Neither did I, but we grabbed it, I played with it, it was like, oh! But then I had to see, I had to see what could be done and what more could be done, and will this work? And it was amazing. So manufacturers will come in and they'll bring all the new product for me, but then, literally, they will sit back and for hours, they will just, I get out my craft mat, I get out my tub, and I play with the product to see what, so I ask them, well, what does it do? What is it supposed to do? And what do you hope it does? And then we start there. And, uh, and thankfully, our manufacturers who work with Scrapbooking Made Simple indulge me. <laughs> it's the most unconventional sales meeting that they've ever had. All of them say that, but they also say as they're leaving that they learned more in that time about their product because you really got to get into it to see what it's going to do. So Yasutomo, thank you so much for getting us this paper so quickly. And Hero Arts, God bless your pea picking heart for giving us those, the reactive inks and the free gifts for all of our customers. And Sizzix, Sizzix, oh, Jade, bless you for reserving my sticky grids. <laughs> you make my heart so happy. Where are you going to find all of this great product? You're going to find it at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Now, if you have an, a, a local retailer, by all means, go look for them. Go see if they've got the Hero Hughes paper. Go see if they've got some of the Hero Arts stamps or stencils. And if they do, shop with them. It's okay. <laughs> it's more important we keep independent businesses going. But if you do not have a local store that has any of this product, 
that's when you come to us and you shop online. We would love to have you online, but we certainly also want you to support your local independent mom and pop shop because that's what Hero Arts has done for us today. That's what Sizzix has done for us today. That's what Yasutomo has done for us today. They've supported us. So let's pass the love around. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye, everybody.